today's focus takes us to Iraq, where Iraqi coalition forces have encircled Mosul, the de facto capital of the Islamic State. The jihadists have controlled the city since 2014. A group capitalized on ethnic tensions simmering there. Today, Iraq is trying to overcome the rift in an effort to reject terrorist ideology. Here's an overview of the main forces involved in this battle. Orian Verdier and Stefan Kanek report. We are 15 kilometers from Mosul, behind the Kurdish front line. The men in fatigues are soldiers in the Iraqi army. In an uncommon joint effort, they will be working alongside forces of the Kurdish Peshmerga. The objective in the end is to liberate Mosul and put an end to ISIS's two-year presence in Iraq. The collaboration between the Peshmerga, Iraqi army and counter-terrorism forces is highly beneficial. We share a common enemy. Our objective is to liberate the Nineveh plain up until the Syrian border. We will have to clear the entire area. We will not go home until everything is cleared. Today, the de facto ISIS capital in Iraq is encircled by Peshmerga, Iraqi army and various armed militias. While ISIS has brought them together as a shared enemy, there are still many different disagreements between the groups. Over the last two years, the Peshmerga have taken advantage of the situation to claim land in disputed territories from Baghdad. They are now ready to enter Mosul with the Iraqi army, but under specific conditions. A first condition for our participation in such a battle is for the Peshmerga to be equipped with weapons and all the things they need, because the liberation of Mosul will be done neighborhood by neighborhood, house by house. Another condition is to have formulated a plan for how to deal with Mosul city. There are a lot of minorities in this town, Kurds, Sunni, Shia and Christian, Yazidis, Turkmen, Shabak and Kakai. All of these communities live together in Mosul. We need to consider each of them and the part they will play in Mosul's future. If one group is marginalized, one way or another a new Daesh will appear. That is why it's important to know how to deal with Mosul. The Peshmerga are saying they are willing to give back power to regional communities. That's why they are backing Sunni tribal militias who originate from the Nineveh plain. The Sunni militias are mostly united under the name Hasha al-Watani, and they are counting on taking part of the highly anticipated offense. Now, as you can see, here is the wider province where Mosul is located. And that bright red light over here represents Mosul city. Our army, Hajd al-Watani, is probably the most important part of this coalition. Because in our ranks we have people who originate from both the city of Mosul itself and the surrounding Nineveh province. We are currently in contact with a lot of people inside Mosul. And they're ready to help us to liberate the city from the inside. The Hasha al-Watani Sunni militias are not backed by Baghdad central government. But they say they have 2,500 soldiers who are ready to fight. They are united under the command of the former governor of Nineveh province, Atal al-Najafi. They are counting on the financial and logistical support of Arab countries, and in particular, Turkey. There is some influence of the Arabic countries or Turkey that will equal the Iranian influence also. We know that the Iranian influence in Iraq is a high influence. And if there is no other influence which equal that, it's one side influence inside Iraq. So we need a balance here in Iraq that the Arabic, uh, the, uh, the Sunni in Iraq feel that they are not weak, they are strong, and get their proud themselves, then they can get the confidence with the others. Atta al-Najafi and the Kurdish government want to create a semi-autonomous region in the Nineveh plain, but Baghdad central government is against this project. 
The plans for the Battle of Mosul are almost done, but the different regional actors are all looking to take a piece of the territory, leaving the fate of Mosul very uncertain. 